and welcome to Goldfish on Games Plays. What am I playing again? That's right, it's Monty Python's The Meaning of Life, and we're on to part two. And hopefully, in this episode, we will complete Act One, because we're on death. That seems an appropriate way to start an episode. And... There we go, I forgot to enable the sound from the game. We're off to a great start already, aren't we? Oh yes we are. Now, it's one of those silly things, I thought I had everything ready beforehand, and I was, and I spent ages trying to research something else, and I completely forgot about this. So, um, <clears throat> here we are. So, Oh, great! No, now I've got an itch right on my nose! Get it for me, will you? Come on, please! <laughs> oh, thanks very much. Go ahead, flush me. Won't bother me a bit. I'm a professional. He's a professional. I'm a, a gamer, supposedly, or something? I don't know. Uh, so let's, let's get on with death. <laughs> And we flushed him. We flushed him good. The Meaning of Life, Part 7. Death. Death. So now we remember how to play this game, because it feels like it's ages since we last did this. I'm taller than the rest of you, and I can see all the way to the crematorium. So <laughs> blow it out your asses, you measly <laughs> mini-monuments. I'm the most important statue in the graveyard. Oh, gotta love him. Oh. I, I, I just can't go on. I don't get anymore. I want to end it all. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. What do I do? I, I can't live without him. I... I Thank you, Monty Python, for that. Ooh, Ooh that looks like the Grim Reaper. Do we want to deal with the Grim Reaper this early? I guess we probably should do. Done! Oh, <laughs> that's it! Please rent Fanny and Alexander. It is a very good film. <laughs> okay, I wasn't quite expecting Freed that. at last from his confining sheath of leaves, Elmer reveled in his nakedness. He spread his limbs with abandon and smiled rapturously as the breeze passed through his private parts, and his furrow hole gaped in all its glory oh. for the whole wide world to admire. Thank you, Monty Python. I'm so lonely. Please touch me again. <laughs> oh God. I'm so lonely. Please touch me again. It's the happy, happy graveyard song. The happy, happy, happy <laughs> graveyard song. I'm so happy, so joyful, so jolly here, even though it's very gloomy. Thank you all very much. Hi, I'm Trudy. My hobbies include erosion standing very still, and being shat upon by a wide variety of cemetery fowl. <laughs> uh, I think some people would pay for that. Right, so, uh, well, we've got this out. Right? <laughs> and that's all we've got with that house, so I guess we're going to have to click here. So, the man starts by entering, or mounting, his good lady wife in the standard way. There we are. Ah, that's better. Thank you, dear. So, the man starts by entering or mounting his good lady wife in the standard way. There we are. Ah, that's better. Uh, thank you, Bob. Uh, Logan. Thank Logan you, dear. For that. 
uh, I'm just happy anyone watches my videos. If people actually enjoy them, then that is amazing because I just it feels like I'm just putting these things together. So uh, I'm glad you enjoy them. And uh, if you have any suggestions of games you'd like to see me try or something like that, then uh, please let me know. Because I'm always needing <laughs> new subject matter for scripts and stuff. I find it difficult to pick at times. Same way I find it difficult to work out where it is we're meant to be going in this level. The, Get your stinking vein fill serrated edge out of my face, you scale blighted, mildewed, aphid infested piece of fibrous photosynthesizing cellulose! Obviously. Try and work out what we're gonna do. Freed here. at last from his confining sheath of. Yeah. We go to the village. So, the. We've done that. All oh. right, who was that? <laughs> kids. Okay. <laughs> so the man. That's a very good bowling roll. Freed at last. Get your stink. <laughs> I honestly have no idea what we're meant to be doing. I was able to bother God for a second. You think there'd be a lot more clickable areas? How many times we can click on death and just go boom? Though that is funny. Uh, nothing on that tree. I've clicked on this tree so many times. It's get your stinking vein fill set. Yes, yes, yes. Hi, I'm Trudy. My hobbies include erosion, standing very still. And being shat upon by a wide variety of cemetery fowl. Oh, those dead people, they think they're so smart! One day I swear I'm gonna go out and kill the lot of them! Hi, I'm Trudy. I'm so lonely. Please touch me again. Touch me again. It's the happy, happy, great. Hi. <laughs> Even goes like, whoop, oh, nope, not getting near death. Yes? Is it about the hedge? But I'm awfully sorry. I but... am the Grim Reaper. <laughs> I am death. Yes, well, the thing is, we've got some people for dinner tonight. Who is it, darling? It's a Mr. Death or something. He's come about the reaping. I don't think we need any at the moment. <laughs> Hello. But don't leave him hanging around outside, darling. Ask him in. Oh, yet to go into the house. God knows what we're going to find in here. Oh, we've got one of these. I found out about these screens. Um, that basically, the lead designer thought it was funny. No one else did. <laughs> and uh, I was say, yeah, the the demo scene and stuff, and the crack toes, as they were called, with the fancy animations and stuff at the beginning of games. I will admit, I have seen so many of them with Amiga games and stuff. Um, 
because I grew up with the Amiga more than the well, all, a bunch of mates had the STs, and so used to play on theirs. But we had the Amiga, and so yeah, I've seen so many of those crack toes and stuff, and yeah, there's so many amazing ones. Um, so yeah, there could be an interesting video in that, uh, trying to hunt down some of the more interesting ones because some were just very basic; they just have something go around, but others like some of those crack toes were more interesting than the game themselves so that could be an interesting angle to take and i'll have to try and track down some of the ones for the st because i can imagine they were quite interesting as well do come in come along in come and have a drink do come on it's one of the little men from the village this is howard katzenberg from philadelphia and his wife, Debbie. Hello there. And these are the Portland Smythes, Jeremy and Fiona. Good evening. This is Mr. Death. Mr. Death is a reaper. Call him the reaper. <laughs> Good Lord. <laughs> Good Lord. Why isn't that extraordinary? We were just talking about death only five minutes ago. Do sit down. Nope, he doesn't look like he's going to sit down. And spotteth twice they the camels before the third hour. And so the Midianites went oh. forth. <laughs> Here endeth the lesson. <laughs> That that wasn't what I was expecting, which was pretty much the the catchphrase for the last one. So I'm expecting similar stuff this one. I was just signing my name in, and the girl said to me, "How old are you?" And I said, "I'm 46." And she said, "Are you still menstruating?" And I said, "Sure." Thanks, Death. So you're still a reaper out here, do you, Mr. Death? And spotteth twice. Good evening. Good evening. The Stilton's awfully good. I am the Grim Reaper. I am the Grim Reaper. I was oh. just. So. What do we have to look at? I think it's probably going to take us back out of the house. Oh, it's like all the bits that we got previously. like an ideal time to save because I'm sure that it's going to screw us over if we get it wrong because that's the type of game this is Be good, right? Um, not quite sure what you meant to do. Oh, thank you. 
Well, you're dead now. Dead? All of us? What? All of you. How can we all have died at the same time? The salmon moose. <laughs> I'm most dreadfully embarrassed. I got no. it. The time has come. Follow. Follow me. Now. <laughs> hey! I didn't even eat the moose! Congratulations! We're all dead! Woohoo! Cornov uh, coronavirus has got them all. We're now on to Act Two. What fancy things will we have? I'll have to remember the replicants as a, a name. It's like I remember Fairlight and a few others. So yeah, it was quite interesting. Some of the things that uh, those crackers did. So, we have a new wheel. You see, when you've been a symbolic representation of man for as long as I have, you get used to little things like being sprawled out in the nude and gawked at by strangers, and then flushed down the drain for fun. Comes with the territory. So, go ahead, gawk a bit, giggle if you want, then <laughs> give me a flush or two, I can take it. About to get flushed. <laughs> Disc two. It is lucky I happen to have the discs to hand. And yeah, that's right. This is playing on a Pentium One 200 with, I think it's like 32 megabytes of RAM. And a CD-ROM drive. Well, I think this is technically a DVD drive, but eh, it's enough for this. So, um, we are playing this on hardware. Ooh. I guess we grab the headphones. Ooh, the recording tour! Oh, dear. Five Cuban nationals bravely gave up their lives to smuggle these rare cigars out of the country. Their blood and suffering are said to make for a much smoother smoking experience. I believe there's people who honestly believe that. <laughs> oh, we can go into the painting. Though this is just a tiny shortwave radio, the owner is proud of it nonetheless. It was while listening to this radio in his secret Swiss hideout that he learned he had once again been cleared of corruption, embezzlement, and tax evasion charges, and could safely re-enter the country. Oh. Uh, no politics in here. Oh, wow, this is quite long. Isn't this an impressive cricket trophy? An unmistakable symbol of manly athletic prowess, stolen from a sick and dying cricket champion in December 1968. Uh, a stolen golf trophy as well? This one-of-a-kind lacquered plastic golf cheating trophy is one of our most popular attractions. It veritably screams out, I have cheated at golf and I have cheated well. The Greater Suffolk Druid Day Summer Solstice Parade Award for Best Drum Majorette. Extorted from 15-year-old Lucy Bipsum in exchange for not striking her upon the kneecaps with a ball-peen hammer. Again. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a fun one. Oh. So can we... Go into the painting. Oh. I'm not even reading these anymore because it's just looking up to... Ooh, there's a... 
som ťa zre. Mmm, <laughs> suggestive. <laughs> I think uh, maturity filter is turned on, right? Because uh, this still seems, I don't know, a little tame from what uh, we got to see last time. Yep, age restriction is enabled. <laughs> Oh, that just returns... Oh, okay, that makes sense. Uh, it's going to take us somewhere different. <laughs> Welcome to paradise. Oh. This has suddenly got a lot more complicated. Hmm. What a lovely day to ruminate on the profundity of mankind's existence. Perhaps in doing so, I shall find myself closer to the god of my culture. Um. You're good to hurt, I think you do fine. I have n literally no idea of what I'm doing or why I'm doing don't anything. Don't, 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 don't. I'm guessing every time I click on something... Don't they see the hypocrisy of their evangelical zeal? Who is more primitive, me or those fools? They risk awakening the giant turtle god who swallows the sun at night and spits it up in the morning and carries the flat earth upon his back. Hm. I rest my case. I'm gonna guess everything's gonna get destroyed as we. I'm assuming I, I have to do this. Oh, woe is me that these so called civilized people are so barbaric in spreading the word of their god! They could have just dropped leaflets. Uh, does that just take us back? To the, I'm going to guess that takes us back. This isn't a game that sort of... Connie, Jeff, pack the canoe, flee for your lives! Forget about me, I'm staying right here to preserve our culture! Where's my pointed stick? I get the feeling that uh, this game isn't going to tell me where or what I need to do, so we just keep clicking. Upper middle class, quite welcome. Lower middle class, not under five grand a year. Lower class, I can't touch it. There's no return on it, you see. Uh, please don't panic, just hand over all your money. Yep. Okay, we need something to put onto this machine. That much we know. Imagine, if you will, the happy chatter of South American Indians coming from this hut. Actually, we weren't really sure what South American Indians were supposed to sound like, so, um... Sorry, we couldn't fake it like we did the others. We apologize for any inconvenience this causes you in your game playing experience. I got it! I shall bribe them to leave my land with a generous pile of seashells and my finest cow. We shall all live free once again. Prepare the celebration! What a lovely day to ruminate on the profundity of mankind's existence. Perhaps in doing so, I shall find myself closer to the god of my culture. Oh, now they've done it! They've trampled Mrs. McGarvey's shrubbery! Savages! Shrubbery! Like, you can do, like, I can do. 
Agent Nuren smacks this new the tattest thing. I still honestly have no idea if this is what we're meant to be doing. Listen to me, and listen well. You may crush our huts, and you may crush our families, and you may crush our pets, and you may crush our knickknacks and our family heirlooms. You may crush our gardens and our golf clubs and our <laughs> secret, sacred picnic grounds, but you will never, I say never, crush the proud and indomitable spirit of my people. Uh, yep. <laughs> More bingo! Oh! Mmm! A fryer! You can move these around, look. Is there a reason? Oh no! Oh! <laughs> Ooh, a life insurance company. <laughs> oh, the life insurance company. Can we... Oh, an afterlife insurance <laughs> company. Okay, do we need to put all of them through this? Ooh, an automobile insurance company. Oh, who knows? This game is just pure insanity at the best of times, so... Oh look, we're at a farm now. <coughs> Obviously. I honestly have no idea if <laughs> this is necessary or needed. Oh. oh, we're back here again. Ride the long face, my ah. friend. Ultimate wealth is within your grasp. Yes, I said ultimate wealth. The very same ultimate wealth that your father and his father before him never had. But did they just sit around waiting for it to drop into their laps? Why, no. They endured long, hard, fruitless labor for years just to not possess it. How can you let this opportunity pass? I guarantee you'll either find it or you won't, or my name isn't Kenneth or something or other. <laughs> if anyone watching has any idea what we're meant to be going or doing. Before you stands one of the last remaining virginal patches of tropical rainforest known to man. It is a miracle that vile, acquisitive, destructive people like you haven't managed to ruin it. So go away, go back your cars and your air conditioners and your styrofoam cups and leave the awesome glory of Mother Nature to those who deserve to be here, like me. Of course. Oh, then we can go back to those other sections. My god! You've squashed an ant! How could you? Good lord! You've broken that mosquito's leg! It'll take a month to heal! Be careful! <laughs> You've just killed a vermilion pygmy dung beetle! Have you no conscience? Yeah, 
I have not a clue either. Look! You careless, unthinking twit! You just wiped out a colony of indigenous mushrooms! Please leave here immediately, I beg of you! <laughs> oh my god, it's the last pantomime horse remaining in the wild. Just look at that magnificent creature. What a breathtaking testimony to the mystery and glory of nature. Me. Uh, what, what are you doing? Please leave the pantomime horse alone. No. I want the pantomime horse. I don't know why. I don't even know if I can get him. Oh, you foolish modern! Don't you realize that the pantomime horse, with its unique muscle and body control, can move with ease through the dense trees of this rainforest? It's his natural habitat. As you stumble after him in your clumsy, heavy-handed way, he will slip safely and silently away to mock you. <laughs> How deliciously Stop sublime! Stop picking your nose. Stop picking your nose. Oh yes, the clever pantomime horse is mocking you. Someday, if the pantomime horse is ever able to repopulate itself, you will be remembered and heckled for many generations to come. He's got red hands for some reason. You'll never... Okay, I get the feeling we can't grab him. He'll just keep popping around. You'll never get him! <laughs> right. <laughs> so, we had... ...this section. I see you haven't ah. found your very own ultimate wealth yet. Maybe you're not looking hard enough. Maybe you don't want it bad enough. Ask yourself, is my goal the attainment of ultimate wealth? If the answer is no, then change your mind so that your answer is yes! You've got to want it bad. You've got to need it. You've got to be willing to do anything to have it. You're in the right place at the right time. Ultimate wealth is out there. It's up to you to go out and find it! I think he's hinting you we're meant to... What an impressive addition to the collection. All the way from planet Algon, fifth world in the system of Aldebaran, the red giant in the constellation of Sagittarius. It's the Algon probe, capable of removing a bra and panties in under 15 seconds. The probe was long assumed unrecoverable until the owner ingeniously convinced a hapless group of research monkeys to fly to Algon and send the probe back in their own rocket. Having been told the distant planet was monkey heaven, the monkeys gleefully complied. As the planet's poisonous atmosphere killed the little monkeys one by one, they realized too late that they'd been doomed. Mmm! The Algon Probe! Uh, okay? Back to the nature reserve there. Uh, we can go to the, the religious bit there. The authentic shroud of Turin, not the fake one worshipped by gullible Christian Sabs, discovered by a monk during pilgrimage to Holy Land, who was abducted, plied with alcohol, then brought to a secret laboratory run by former war criminals, injected with truth serum, forced right. to reveal the shroud's location, and then, well, let's just say he's not doing much monking anymore. Oh. The Holy Grail. Bagged July 1996. Does, it mean, does that look like uh, Doctor Who? Here we find a group of poor unsuspecting bastards who the owner stepped on <laughs> during his inspiring climb to the top. The most ruthless, black-hearted, despicable capitalist of the year, 1984. How did I get to level three? What happened to like what? What? I'm so confused. 
I am so confused. If we go back this way. Where does this take us? I know what you're saying. Ultimate wealth, it's too big. I'm not worthy. You probably think that running around naked in a large but finite pile of money is all you deserve. You're wrong. Everyone deserves ultimate wealth. Everyone. Ooh. Even you! Me? But Ultimate Wealth doesn't walk up to you on the street and jump into your pocket. You've got to figure doesn't... out where it's hiding. You have to track it down. It may be hard, but isn't Ultimate Wealth worth it? Of course it is! Now go out there and find it! Find the Ultimate Wealth you deserve! Yes, sir. Win, win, win. Girls, girls, girls. <laughs> Hey, everybody, look, look! Come see what's on the computer! Hey, hey, if there's someone in the other room, come in here! Look, come in here and see what somebody's got on the computer! Hey, you don't want to miss this! Look, sex on the computer! Terrible, filthy, disgusting sex! Right over here, come on, look at it! This proves it! Whoever's using this computer has got a thing for goats! <laughs> well, you learn something new every day. Nah, nah. How's that, pervert? Getting excited? <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself. Goat lover, goat lover, come look at the goat lover. Right here, using this computer. Oh, I bet you like him with beards, don't you? You despicable scumbag. I hope none of you have got the speakers on. Oh, you... <laughs> Oh dear. How do I get out? <laughs> ah, there we go. You have to click at the very bottom of the screen. <laughs> books, books, books. Mind you, I don't know whether you've ever really considered the advantages of owning a really fine set of modern encyclopedias, you know, they can do you really wonder. Mm, an encyclopedia salesman! Obviously, I don't know why that... Is this just now throwing items at us to pick up? Uh, and is most of them just going to be useless? This game completely changed style on us. Yummy, yummy, yummy! Ooh, a raspberry! So, we've got three insurance buildings, a probe, an encyclopedia salesman, a fryer, and a raspberry. I'd give anything to be up there, on stage, in the footlights. I'd give anything to be... Okay, so we need to use something with him. Zippy, 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 no. Oh, we can actually now... Re okay. I don't think we've got anything that can get him up there. Zippy, 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 no. Zippy, 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 no. Oh, this is going to get annoying quick, isn't it? Okay, we. I think starting to to see where we're meant to go with this now. So I'm guessing we need to get something to 
probably get what's his name the ah stop do not proceed you are ordered to turn back on the penalty of <laughs> Okay. That goes back to the nature reserve, I guess. That, uh... Stop! Do not proceed! You are ordered to turn back on the penalty of... Chomp, 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 chomp. <laughs> so it's going through the sickest, uh, level three again. Uh, that will take us back to the water. So does this take us to level one? Okay. This spot on the wall has been reserved for the rarest and most sought after of all trophy animals. The last pantomime horse remaining in the wild. Okay. These great beasts are famous for their wondrous ability to overcome their lack of speech with incredibly expressive and evocative body language. In short, they're a hoot. So I'm guessing we need to somehow get the pantomime horse and put him here. How we do that, I don't know. Tasty! The Greater Northwest Wales Ladies Scarf Knitting Society Belgian Waffle Eating Championship of 1993 easily won following the mysterious disappearance of the Greater Northwest Wales Ladies Scarf Knitting Society. Just have to keep going, I guess. Um, hopefully this is will be. Well, we just got to keep ah, stuff falling over in the room. Grab it before it falls over. Just gonna keep clicking on stuff. Munchy, munchy, munchy. this bit before uh, really that's I think I did that last time there's a reason why I tend to script these things so you don't see all the sort of blind sort of clicking and stuff <laughs> prepare to go underground reconnoiter checkpoint alpha Secret frequency XP seventy nine. Prepare to go underground. Reconnoiter checkpoint alpha. Secret frequency XP seventy nine. Oh, something's exploded. What the hell was that? Hello. Tell us. What the hell was that? D 
Don't move. They have sensors that can detect your movement. Don't move. They have sensors that can detect your movement. Okay. Black helicopters! Stealth invasion! They're coming! They're coming! Oh dear. The bastards will never get me alive! Turn off your radios. They've infiltrated the airwaves. Disorder! Anarchy! The time is drawing near! Sons of bitches watering down our genes! Purity at all costs! Prepare to go underground. Reconnoiter checkpoint. Oh, okay, that I see. You're clicking on the, the water. Fine. Okay, I think we're slowly starting to unravel <laughs> um, stuff. <laughs> we're slowly starting to unravel stuff. What this stuff means, I have not the clue. Um. Um, <laughs> okay, I need to use something on that. Um, this game is getting weirder, and, and this is just the first bit of this one. Ah. How did a game that was all very, very, how is the game that was already very weird get even weirder and also far more confusing, while at the same time somehow keeping me interested? This man is Ernest Scribbler, writer of jokes. In a few moments, he will have written the funniest joke in the world. And, as a consequence, he will die laughing. Joke it was obvious written. that this joke was lethal. No one could read it and live. It was not long before the army became interested in the military potential of the killer joke. Under top security, the joke was hurried to a meeting of Allied commanders at the Ministry of War. Top brass were impressed. Tests on Salisbury Plain confirmed the joke's devastating effectiveness at a range of up to 50 yards. <laughs> oh, this is going to get so flagged, isn't it? I've got so many copyright um, notices on the last video. It was silly. <laughs> Thankfully, none of them were enough to get the, my channel in danger or anything. It's just that he says, Hey, we own the copyright to this. Fantastic! I wasn't sure how long that was going to go on for. Well. <laughs> In case of unexploded Scotsman, break glass. Uh, I don't seem to be able to do anything with that. <laughs> Uh, 
If I try to grab him, he just explodes, doesn't he? Yep. And we clear the screen again. Right. So, looks like we also need whiskey or something. That's why we keep finding more stuff that we need than stuff that we got. Like, I wonder if now it's finally meaning we're having to go between different sections. Because we do share the the inventory. Or at least we did. <laughs> Everything now is going to turn into a gun. Eat this, bastards! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> click, click. <laughs> Got material spirit. <laughs> Let's see if another section is a bit more. What's the word I'm looking for? Kinda. <laughs> Are you a Buddha? Hmm, a Bruce Buddha head. Okay. Um. Wow. What did the star say? I don't know what did the star say? Oh. I wonder if we see the same sections from different points of view, maybe. Hmm. <laughs> I foresee that you will summon me again! <whistles> Obviously. See? I was right, eh? <laughs> Purity can only be achieved through passive meditation or by eating kippers. You will take hold of your dreams with both hands, but only after you've been arrested for exposing yourself. Okay. <laughs> The horoscopic fates, the astrological portents, the omens, the Gennethliac prognostications. Oh, I need to use something with uh, fry. Zippy, 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 zippy. No. Okay. <laughs> eat, eat, eat. Welcome to Almighty Big Burger. May I take your order, please? Okay. One meeting oh. alive. Ready. The meaning of life is... It's the fish are back. What was he saying? What was that? Hey? Can I get you anything else? No, thank you. One more hot more coffee. Here you go. Mmm, black coffee. I'm still just collecting things and I have no idea what the hell I'm going to do with any of them. Oh, 
And so the Midianites went forth to Ram Gilead in Kadesh Bilgameth by Shor Ethba Regalion to the house of Gash Bil Bethuel Bazda, he who brought the butter dish to Belshazzar and the tent peg to the house of Rashomon. And there slew they the goats, yea, and placed they the bits in little pots. This game. <laughs> So do I just keep clicking and just get do this all? Does is that going to actually get us anywhere? I I don't know what to do anymore. Oh, is this a different section? Ah, not seen this before. Is your name not Bruce then? No, it's Michael. Oh, another Bruce Buddha head. Obviously. Canadian Sunrise, authentic bacon brandy. There's, uh, there's no hemlock in this, is there? No. All right, now I'm really living. <laughs> I don't think... Watch it there. Easy does it. I don't think I've ever been... Let's get a move on. ...this confused in a game in all my life. And I had to learn how to a play Frontier help, Elite 2 without a manual. Help. help, please. Your membership in the British Museum has expired. You will not be allowed to pillage any artifacts of antiquity until you renew your membership. Ah, <laughs> oh, the old dial-up modem sounds. <laughs> Have a nice plunder. It's Netscape Navigator. Wait, what? Oh, no. I think we've got these intermissions now that we've gone through. I think I watched uh, Trista Bites play The Stanley Parable. And I think that, game's make, that game makes way more sense than this. Sit on me, I'm comfy. UFOs, UFO, UFO, UFO. benevolent visitors UFO, UFO. from another galaxy, another galaxy. vicious UFO. invaders UFO. bent on destruction, UFO. or complete UFO. and utter nonsense. UFO. Zippy, 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 no. Uh. Zippy, 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 no. Okay. There's me thinking, oh, maybe we can use that. Nope. For decades, civilization has been enthralled by accounts of alien sightings and abductions, and entire generations have come to believe that beings of superior intelligence to our own may have set foot on this planet. Click on all of these. Why, there are those who would even speculate that extraterrestrials have taken an active role in shaping our culture, our architecture, and our history. I guess we do have to click on those. Stonehenge. Rocks of mystery. 
hewn by claw in the brutal slave quarries of the planet Shagpur. Captured in the epic battle of Rotor and hauled across the universe by Valetian freighters en route to Tritar. Discovered by a ruthless band of roving Jedica monks, dragged across the Gobana Desert, then discarded near the monastery outpost of Chet, and so on and so on and so forth, until they ended up here. Not Stonehenge, where the druids are dancing, whatever it is, I can't remember. I shouldn't have started that one. Oop. Despite science's best efforts, however, there is of course absolutely no evidence whatsoever to support the notion that such creatures even exist. Well, Beatrice, the information kiosk was closed. Beatrice? Senor Pepe? Ooh, the tour bus seems to have gone on without me. Oh, shit. Oh, wait for the next one. <laughs> Terry Wogan. <laughs> what? Precisely how such ridiculous myths could survive, much less flourish, in an era of logic, proof, and rational thinking has puzzled scientists for years. Dirt. Mysterious, enigmatic dirt. A whole big, giant earthen mound of dirt. So dirty, it defies explanation. So absolutely full of dirt that few can comprehend its dirtiness. Dirt beyond reason, piled upon an unfathomable amount of dirt. Yes, dirt. dirt. Thank you. My own theory is that much as science is the foundation of modern society's secular life, so science fiction has become one of modern society's religions. Those yearning for an escape from the mundane reality of their day-to-day -day existence have turned to this pseudo-religion for their answers. And since, to the irrational mind, this galactic fantasy carries with it the trappings of science and technology, it is possible for many to make the great leap of faith required for the success of any such outlandish, nonsensical belief system. And teleporting away. Well, that... That was something. Ugh. My head is made of stone. <laughs> I'm an expert on mechanics, oceanography, and vanished ancient cultures. What do you want? Zippy, 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 no. He doesn't want encyclopedias then. I'm, I'm a pyramid! I'm, no, no, uh, no, yes, no! Oh, I think I'm an enigma, but I'm not sure. I've got no stomach. Ooh. Why did you turn around again? One of those sliding puzzles. That seems to have no...
Oh, so close. Damn it. That resets it. Okay. So we click this, those two. So. Uh, now, if I do that one here. Screws up its own internal logic. So let's try that. And that. I keep getting two of them, but not the third. So I keep expecting my own internal logic to be able to handle it. That might be a bad idea. I think I'm going to get that from the top one. It's going to be off, yes. Clipping through. Just put it back at the beginning. <laughs> Just keep clicking the top one. Bottom two matched. And you sit think just keep clicking the top one.
six clock thing. Which I used to be good at. I wonder if. So, when I move it, it's one. So there's number. Like, this. mean anything. I swear there's a sound every so often that sort of makes me think that we're close. Two are maxed, and the top two are even. Then keep clicking the top one. lining up anymore. Top four bottom. So what you saying?
my <laughs> my brain is completely fried. It's been absolutely knackering week. One of the things I don't even know if we need to do this. This game is so full of weird red herrings and stuff that... Top repeaters. me is like, would they put in a puzzle that, it, that you couldn't solve just to screw with them? Uh, we're, we're almost like <laughs> no different from the, where it started. keep seeing being able to get to this sort of state but it's not enough <laughs> I don't know what we're meant to be trying to get out of this thing it does look like it's something we're picking up The man slowly rotates something and feels thoroughly confused. Now, every time you get close, there's, there's that little sound effect. It's like, damn you.
there's Rubik's Pyramid. <laughs> no thing as good at the Rubik's sort of clock, you know? I always thought I had a sort of logical brain, but this thing just seems to be... So four, so reset. And then don't click on two. So just this and this. So I'm guessing like that's one, two, three, four, or is it one, two, three, four? So let's reset. So when you click this one, it just resets the puzzle back to the start. So actually just pressing two straight from that gives us half so that is interesting. So we start So it's like that. This we put it there. I think we're close. Mock me. Damn you, game, you mock. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> ah, the cattle prod of courage. The Cattle Prod of Courage. That's what we got from that. The Cattle Prod of Courage. Does anyone <laughs> know what we can use the Cattle Prod of Courage for? Because I don't! This game. This. God. Damn. Game. Kreplak Avidat, King of Dragmar 5 in the Galaxy Bandar. 
Ruler of the Shankorians, Valiant General, Defeater of the Wallabox, Vanquisher of the sycophantic worm crawlers of the Constellation City, Maker of the Great Laws of Quadrant 12, Enforcer of the Universe. He didn't care much for the statue, so he left it here. Um, well, we got something from here. I don't know what it's useful for. I'm guessing we've gone through all the weird bits. Like, the little questions, so we now just get that. Hey! Sergeant ah. Major marching up and down the square! Left, right, left, right, left! A tiger in Africa? Uh, well, it, it's probably escaped from the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> um... Obviously. It's the fatties from Judge Dredd. Yes, indeed. Any other problems I can reassure you about? Uh, this... Oh, we're back at the bar again. So, okay, they take this to bits. Oh, we got Gandhi. I wonder if he's going to nuke someone. When mass moves through space, it compresses along the vector of movement at a rate equaling the ratio of its speed to the speed of light. Of course. In a truly utopian society, there would be absolutely no ownership of private property. Uh. The Queen here is rather nice to chat with. When she's not drunk, that is. Oh, you wit. <laughs> we were just discussing the expansion of imperial boundaries into neighboring territories and the subjugation and brutal repression of the primitive native populations, more specifically, the Welsh. Quarrels and blighters. We have just noticed that we are the only historical figure in here who is not dead. We find that rather odd. Furthermore, these Good dead way. historical figures are giving us the creeps. The urge to drink is basically sexual in nature. Change of motion is proportional to the impressed force and takes place in the direction of the straight line in which that force is impressed. Just look at, look at that face. You see, the common European swallow, by its markings, can clearly be seen to be descended from the African swallow, which by the shape of its beak and its cold-bloodedness is obviously a descendant of the prehistoric dinosaur, Archaeopteryx. Mandrill's bum red ale. You know... I've often wondered about this evolution business. I mean, is it only a unidirectional process? I wonder. I, I, I really wonder. Okay, so is our goal to get these people drunk? Thrifty vicar, concentrated sherry substitute. <laughs> oh, we are out of control. <laughs> oh dear. Thrifty vicar, concentrated sherry substitute. I am not interested in your alcoholic beverages. They cloud the mind and corrupt the body. Just between you and me, though, I would gladly kill for a juicy, juicy T-bone steak. <laughs> Let me pray this way. <laughs> Dr. Unpopular's fish-flavored whiskey. If you're on a train traveling the speed of light, and your train is in a spaceship flying through space in the opposite <laughs> direction, twice the speed that you are, and you're having kippers for breakfast, chances are very good that he will throw up. No, you don't, Einstein! <laughs> we don't care much for you theoretical physicist types spreading your filth around here. Consider that a warning. <laughs> Obviously. Uh, 
Einstein, he's asleep. Fermented chocolate milk. Please do not try to tempt me with alcoholic beverages. Uh, again, do we just... Senor Cheap's tequila. Ooh. Ah, now, what exactly was I saying? Oh yes, there should be absolutely no ownership of private property. Hmm? Hmm. <laughs> Dr. Unpopular's fish flavored whiskey. I won't drink that. Senor Cheap's tequila. I won't drink that. Okay, so... Puffy old Uncle Pete's extra thick gin. <laughs> Enough small talk, it's time ah. to show who rules this pub! <laughs> Dr. Unpopular's fish flavoured whiskey. <laughs> Go Queenie! Go Queenie! Yeah! <laughs> He's sleeping with his eyes open, that's really disturbing. Dr. Unpopular's fish flavoured whiskey. <laughs> oh my, we are feeling faint. We see stars and cuckoo clocks circling round our head. We hear a loud throbbing sound, and we are remembering a time when we were a little girl, when we shoplifted a packet of cigarettes, and never told a soul. <laughs> so, okay, we're just going to try and get everyone drunk. Puffy old Uncle Pete's extra thick gin. Seriously now, there is no hemlock in this, right? Wait a minute. Come to think of it, that drink didn't taste quite right. You did it after all, didn't you? You put something in it. D don't deny it. While I wasn't looking, you filled my drink with... Hemlock! Da da da! <laughs> That's another Man one out. Mandrill's bum red ale. <laughs> Obviously. Puffy yeah, is... old Uncle Pete's extra thick. <laughs> Watch out, everybody! I'm a body in motion! Now I'm <laughs> static! Now I'm kinetic! Now I'm static! Now I'm kinetic! This is the weirdest freaking game. Ken's Vineyards, mostly pink wine. I wish I had the energy to keep that up. I honestly have no idea if this is what you're meant to do, or if this is just... Canadian Sunrise, authentic bacon brandy. Just something just to <laughs> mess around with. Oh. Ach, mein Liebchen, I love you so. Your neck, your cock, the little dimple in your bottom. Forget about the flasks, the carafes, those crazy empty jugs. They are in my past. From now on, I only have lips for you. Stop kissing the bottle. Ooh, do we need to get that bottle off? Thrifty vicar, concentrated sherry substitute. <laughs> Ach, my little flagon of lust, I have decided. You and I, we shall run off to Bermuda. We shall play volleyball by day and make passionate love all night long. Oh. And your husband, oh, that cheap, screw-top, recyclable fool, he will never find us. <laughs> Time to come home, Betty. You've got some pretty big explaining to do. Okay. I was hoping to get a bottle from him or something. Because that, I think, I could have used, but... So the only person who's not asleep is... Senor Cheap's tequila. 
I won't drink that. Dr. Unpopular's fish flavor. I won't whiskey. drink that. Fermented chocolate milk. I am not interested in your alcoholic beverages. They cloud the mind and corrupt the body. Just between your needle, I would gladly kill for a juicy, juicy T-bone steak. Uh, I don't think I've got steaks yet. <laughs> I swear I've got a whole load of stuff, but I don't have anything that might be actually useful. Zippy, 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 no. Zippy, 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 no. Frigid mistress bitters. Puffy old uncle Thrifty vicar concentrated sherry stop mystery popular exactly ten flavors and a malicious wine wine vodka zippy 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 no i won't drink that uh, okay i think we've done as much as we can do here He says with very little conviction. I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. Oh, so just... I call upon you, Padre! Oh, oh Lord, we beseech thee, etc, etc, etc. Amen. Bruce, are you a poofter? Roll one, no poofters. Good day, Bruce. Oh, hello, Bruce. Australia, 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 we love you, Padre! Will I give them the Bruce Budders? Zippy, 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 no. Okay. Waiting is a virtue, you know. That is why I am a waiter. There was a vodka drink, but I tried giving him the vodka drink and it didn't seem to work. So there was a vodka drink, there was a whiskey drink. There was a... <laughs> so this one was the vodka drink. Grandma Babushka's brand vodka. Yeah. So you think. I won't drink that. Yeah, see? There's tequila. Senor Cheap's tequila. I won't drink that. Ken's Vineyards, mostly pink wine. I won't. You won't drink that. Canadian Sunrise, authentic I won't. brandy. I won't drink that either. Fermented chocolate milk. I won't. Dr. Unpopular's fish flavoured whiskey. I won't. Nope. Mr. Trickster's Mystery Elixir. I won't. Thrifty Vicar Concentrated Sugar I won't. Substitute. Puffy Old Uncle Pete's Extra Thick Gin. Oh. Ooh. Ah. There you have it. In a truly utopian society, there would be absolutely no ownership of private property except for this deluxe color television set. Hmm? Mm. Oh, do we have to give him a different drink each time, do you think? Puffy old Uncle Pete's extra thick gin. I won't drink that. Oh, come on, guys. Mandrill's bum red ale. I won't. Frigid mistress bitters. I won't drink that. They've done that one. Thrifty vicar concentrated sherry sun. I won't drink Mr. Trickster's Mystery Elixir. I won't. Dr. Unpopular's Fish Flavored Whiskey. Fermented Chocolate Milk. I won't. Canadian Sunrise Authentic I won't. Bacon Brand. So we just have to keep trying the different ones Ken's until we find one that we will drink. Mostly pink wine. I won't drink that. Uh, maybe it will Grandma be Grandma Babushka's Brand Vodka. Oh, yeah, there we go. Ooh. Now, as I was saying, no ownership of private property except for this television set and this gorgeous five-speed electric food processor. What's going to pay next? Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Is that meant to be Lennon? Senor Cheap's tequila. I won't drink that. Bet you won't drink Grandma the again. Babushka's brand. Vodka. I won't. I won't drink that. Ken's Vineyards, mostly I won't. wine. Canadian Sunrise, authentic I won't. bacon brandy. I swear, this isn't a puzzle, it's just... Fermented chocolate milk. Try everything. I won't. Dr. Unpopular's fish-flavoured whiskey. I won't. 
Mr. Trickster's uh, mystery I won't. elixir. I won't drink that. I won't Thrifty drink vicar concentrated showy substance. Oh, there we go. Mm. Now, this is final. I mean it. <laughs> In a truly utopian society, there is no ownership of any He's private property. property. Except for my television set, my food processor, and my orthopedic vibrating foot massager! Oh, that's what that's meant to be. Puffy old Uncle Pete's extra thick. I won't beer. drink that. Frigid Mistress Bitters. I won't. I won't drink Mandrill's that. Mandrill's bum red ale. I won't. Thrifty Vicar Concentrated I Sherry won't. Substitute. This Mr. isn't a Trickster's puzzle, guys. Mystery Elixir. I won't. Dr. Unpopular's Fish Flavored Whiskey. Fermented Chocolate Milk. Oh, there we go. Oh. your Bleeding Utopia! They're mine! <laughs> mine! 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 So are we gonna get the Ooh! The sledgehammer of humility! The sledgehammer of humility, of course. Now, I wonder what we got. Uh Bomb Bomb. Uh <coughs> Castle Prod of Courage. Sledgehammer of Humility. A friar. Insurance buildings. Algon Probe, Encyclopedia Salesman, a Buddha Head, Black Coffee, another Buddha Head, and a Raspberry. <laughs> oh no, this wasn't worse. Oh. There was an exit through here to some. Oh! Raspberry! <laughs> Yet another Buddha, Buddha Head! head. Nothing else I can click here, so I'm hoping. That's the only thing you can click. You can't do anything with that because it's not highlighted. Do the old quick scan. Uh, maybe something opened up outside. this opened up. Behold the treasure <laughs> of the pharaoh. <laughs> the treasure of the pharaoh, eh? Um, what have we got here? We've got penguin and rafting equipment. Ooh. 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 A steak a dinner. Didn't we know someone who was looking for a steak dinner? The Ocarina of the Nile. Spam of the Nile. The Larch. The Eternal Hedgehog of the Nile. Mrs. Trepidatious of the Nile. Okay. I'm guessing we have to get... Yeah. We have to get a combination puzzle uh, lock from something. It's not just spam, 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 spam. Uh, thought I'd just do the basics. You never know. Okay. Let's go find Gandhi and give him his steak. Ugh. What the hell? What? Ooh, hey, steak. 
Okay, we need to put something there. I'm guessing. Or do we need to do that before? Oh. Ah! I thought we were gonna make progress! <laughs> So we can't... So we need to do so I'm guessing something with this puzzle here. I just don't know what the combination is yet. But uh, that's the thing, I... Normally, when you can interact with it and put something there, the, I, the hand changes to, like, the claw hand. So even... Oh, the... See, I can't do anything with the Buddha heads. The only thing I can interact with is this. So, I'm gonna guess I need to know this combination to be able to go forward. So that's why there's an exit quick back to the pub. Uh... Amantological harbingers! The fat is like, when the hand's like that, that means you can interact with it in some way. Zippy, 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 no. Zippy, 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 Aquarius, Sagittarius, Darian, Tom's, Basil. June the 21st to June the 22nd. You have green scaly skin and a soft yellow underbelly with a series of thin light ridges running down your spine and tail. Although lizard-like in shape, you can grow anything up to 30 feet in length with huge teeth that can bite off great rocks and trees. You inhabit arid subtropical zones and wear spectacles. It's very good about the spectacles. Oh dear! My landlord won't like this, Ribbit! I'll need a new place to live! Ooh, a giant frog! I think we know somewhere where we can put a giant frog. Um, can I get to it from here? Or do we have to go back out? Uh, no, not that bit. It was over... no. I think we can get to it from here. Yes. We might actually solve some form of puzzle here. Come on. Ah. Ooh. Don't. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Ah. Well, that was certainly unexpected. <laughs> The buzzword to this game. And so what? Oh, another Buddha head. Is your name not Bruce then? Ho ho ho! Still one more! Bruce Buddha head! <laughs> It's difficult to do any commentary over this game because it just keeps making sounds and voice clips and stuff. Thank 
Thank you. Oh, is this gonna be good? Okay. Hello, may I come in? Oh, I'll try the Presbyterians down the street. I have no idea what's going on anymore. Oh no, that, that's okay. That. Was... What is the point of this section? So it's. That takes you back out. Eight, nine, ah. ten. Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> oh, you! <laughs> Man, I ate some weasels on the leash. Rum, rum, rum. What? <laughs> Ding dum. Lovely little chub. The Spanish Inquisition. So, no, that did something different that time. No, that came off a stock CD. Oh, I'm not sitting through that again. William, 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 William. Oh. Oh. What the hell is that? <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. I'm so utterly confused. <laughs> ah! to use the hammer or or do I require something I don't have yet? I'm going to guess I, there's something I need that I don't have yet. Hello? There's, that's this game. <laughs> um. Well, we've done a lot of 
exploring here. Let's look at the... Maybe we'll make some progress here. Or not. Zippy, 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 no. to the painting. Nature preserve. I wonder if I can use the that cattle prod on the horse. What are you doing? Please leave the pantomime horse alone. I'm guessing not. Oh, oh, look at that! See how the wily pantomime horse throws you off its trail. He appears to walk forward, but see, he moves backwards instead. That is artistry, and that is genius. This game is so weird. <laughs> to you, the predator, the pantomime horse appears unreachable, trapped within a glass box. And so you give up your hunt. But other more perceptive animals, they know that he is merely acting. Bravo, pantomime horse! Encore! You truly are a mime artist! To you, the predator, the pantomime horse appears unreachable, trapped. gonna go to the bottom of the sea. It's weird that... Uh, uh, okay. Let's accept it. Ooh. Ooh! Some outstanding shares of very big corporation of American common stock! expecting to do something. How do you defend oh. yourself against a man armed with a banana? Yeah, you, take this. You, take now it's this. quite simple to defend yourself against the banana fiend. First of all, you force him to drop the banana. Next, you eat the banana. <laughs> thus disarming him. You have now rendered him helpless. Suppose he's got a bunch. Shut up. <laughs> Suppose he's got a pointed stick. Shut up, right now. You, Mr. Apricot! Harrison! Ah, uh, Mr. Harrison! Come on me with that banana! Come on! Attack me with it! As hard as you like! Come on! 
Come no, 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 no! Put something into it, for God's sake! Only like that. Scream! Now, nah, come on, come on, attack me! Come on, come on, yeah, come on! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This game. I swear, this game. Oh, fishy, 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 fish. Fish. Ooh. Ooh, some outstanding shares of very big corporation of American common stock. Mr. Malcolm Holmesby's missing brown sock. Mr. Holmesby suspected that it had been lost in the wash. His wife, Willa, suggested that perhaps it had been stolen by a sock fiend. Or maybe it fell in love with a sock of a different color, and fearful of not being accepted, the two of them ran off to live elsewhere. All very plausible explanations to be sure, but clearly something more sinister was at work here. Julius Caesar, Emperor of Rome. Yes. Throughout history, people have perpetuated the assumption that this man, this general, Rome's greatest genius, was assassinated in 44 BC. But, as we can see, the great Caesar was cut down in his prime by a force much more sinister than a mere assassin's knife. Was it Assassin's Creed? Ooh. Ooh, a Victorola playing the exploding blue Danube walls. Simply amazing. All the great secrets of the trench, the enigma of a thousand disappearances, a million age-old riddles, explained with a simple flourish of your little mousy thing there. Absolutely amazing. Seeing that it's been uh, two hours of this, we might have to leave it here. Oh, I think we might be able to do one puzzle before we go, because we've got the the bra. There's a person who's wanted to be is in here. Yes, him. Him, I think <coughs> we'll want the bra. Oh, ducky! There we go. Which means we can get Ooh, a, a chainsaw. chainsaw. toast now uh, but because I've done a video at the beginning of this month well I've done a stream at the beginning I'll still be doing one at the end so you'll only have to wait a couple of weeks to see the uh, the final part in this not oh god it probably won't be the final part unless we're we're very lucky but I don't think we will be 
And I think this is going to go on for a bit longer because this game is absolutely insanity on a CD. Um, yeah, I did try using the Castle Prod on the Panto Horse. It didn't seem to work. So I'm not sure what I need to do there. Past me is wondering if we need to use like the chainsaw on the the forest, maybe, so he doesn't have somewhere to run away. But I think that might be something to um, I think that might be something to leave till next time. Uh, and yes, we had another puzzle that took absolutely forever to complete which seems to be a running theme of this game, because the last part had the sort of seesaw thing that took way too long. But I'm hoping that now we've got that puzzle over and done with, the rest of it will now start to sort of fall into places. We've got lots of bits, and we'll be able to actually make some real progress in the next video. So hopefully... <laughs> I will see some of you for the next one, unless I've completely scared everyone away. Uh, and hopefully I'll be a bit more chatty and we can be a bit more exciting and do more crazy fun stuff. But before we go, let's save. Uh, and yeah, I think that's going to be it. So thank you for watching. I've been the Goldfish. This is Monty Python's The Meaning of Life. And just today, I got two more Monty Python games. God knows uh, if um, they are as insane as this one. Uh, so, thank you, everyone who showed up, particularly you, Colin, because uh, you've actually chatted to me and it's been great. You've at least tried to help me with the puzzles, even though they're 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 borderline borderline solvable. So thank you everyone, I'm going to go now, and I'll see you again soon. Until next time, I was the Goldfish, this is an insane game, and this was Goldfish on Games.